seeing ghosts uh, is, I guess, is the company Dark Castle? It's, yeah, it's the yep. production company. Yep, yeah, the production company. Yep. Yep. They are developing a new TV series as in remaking it, I guess, is kind of the, the impression that I got here just from the quick read. So why don't you walk me through this, Luke? What's the uh, what's the deal with this new 13 Ghosts TV show? Well, you know, um, I'm assuming you understand the concept of 13 Ghosts, yes. uh, even though you haven't watched it yet. So it's like, you know, in, in that film itself, um, it, there's a 2001 remake, um, which is what the, it sounds like they're going to be basing this off of more so. Um, you know, you're dealing with the issue at hand. You have the 13 Ghosts, but you don't really establish, you know, the lore too much. You kind of go into it a tiny bit, but not a lot. Uh, so what the idea here is that... Um, uh, the dark castle is going to be potentially it's it's pitched right now it's not 100 percent greenland anything like that so you know it is just news i'm hoping this does um actually become a tangible thing uh that they're going to dive into the backstories of each 13 ghosts so in theory each episode would just revolve around one particular ghost and you would get their backstory now i think the most interesting piece here is that these ghosts they don't range from one time period now these can you know they're way different ghosts they way different backstories and from completely different time periods for the most part so i think you know if you have for the sake of discussion 13 episodes all revolving around a uh, one ghost i really think you know you could have all these different flavors that kind of play together and then having this backstory that would not compromise an original or a remake it would just kind of complement more so to your viewing pleasure if if you haven't seen 13 ghosts and decide you know to go back and watch it or if you've already seen it and are aware of the ghosts because i think uh looking at this there's always those news stories um where they do have the backstories to them and i think that for me was always the most interesting part of 13 ghosts because you always look at those and want to say i want to see more of these guys yeah um and you know i you're not alone in that i think that that's probably the biggest draw to this uh you know ip for certain because again they talk about that very heavily in that video he talks about all the ghosts and just how interesting the backstories are on some of them and some of them you get to know a little bit more than others um but yeah no i think that it, from what you're describing this is definitely very ripe for um the tv format expansion because you know we talk about that a lot is like there's a lot of horror ip that could really benefit from like eight hours worth of you know expansion especially with something with this much lore to it yeah. um and you know it it's it's something that i could very much see um you know a, in relation to another story we're going to talk about in a minute where like how mike flanagan handles things like you know haunting of hill house and stuff where he takes an ip a book or a story that you know people know and he gives it kind of a modern spin to it yeah and expands it and it's like i think that this could very well fall in line with that i'm very curious to see who they're going to put behind, uh, you know, making this. Do you have uh, anybody in mind as far as like a director or a couple directors you'd like to see come in? No, not necessarily. But uh, from my aspect of me saying this could be so many different flavors. If we have 13 episodes, I would like 13 different directors and each cool. one taking their own aspect of it. Now, more so my thought of when I read the story was, yes, we're going to focus on the backstories. What I would also love, if you want to get a little more out of this, if you watch the film, it opens up with catching one of the ghosts. And that's the only thing you see is one thing. I would love for them to expand upon, um, if you wanted to, instances of where they caught each ghost. So it's like you could mm -hmm. do a full season of the Jackal being the, the main character of them trying to catch him and haunting whatever area is or the Juggernaut, whatever, whichever one you want to do. But you could do multiple seasons of catching these ghosts. I think that would be an interesting take as well if you just didn't want to stick with one episode, one ghost and catching, you know, just doing the lore, the backstory. Um, but yeah, I, for me, I think if you're going to have the multiple different episodes, I would love a different take on each episode. So nothing feels the same as you view it. Yeah, no. And I, I would like that too. Um, I don't know how expensive that's going to get. I don't know what kind of budget that dark castle wants to throw yeah. into this. Um, and I'm wondering where this is going to wind up, uh, as far as who this is going to end up with, uh, when it comes to, uh, premiering if this gets off the ground because uh, we still got to remember it's still just reportedly in yeah. development so it's very early here uh we're talking you know unless they really get the ball rolling here we're talking about probably a two-year turnaround on this maybe longer yeah um, especially with the writer's strike and everything going on 
Um, you know, you, you just don't know. But this is, um, again, I think a, a property that you have even said is ripe for uh, a reimagining, a reinterpretation. Yep. And it uh, looks like we might be getting that. And I think a TV show is a great idea. And I, I'm very curious to uh, dive into the world of 13 Ghosts and uh, give my thoughts and opinions. And uh, yeah, I'm always down for another Matthew Lillard flick. So there you go. You can't miss. You can't uh, you can't beat it. He's Absolutely. lovely in it. He's great in it. Perfect. <laughs> 